this, guys, we've been sent a package from uh, Munbin. Munbin. I think you might remember we did a video on the faux memo thermal printer that we did. Uh, it was quite a while ago now, but look at the oh! And patches has come over to look. Patches, <laughs> do you want to print out hearts with me? <laughs> but we have to say we've been sent it for free. But it, it apparently can thermal print on like heart shapes like this. We've also been sent like uh, kind of like I think these are circles. Or like circular shaped ones as well, which look pretty cool. Okay, update. That's not the printer. <laughs> it's paper. It's like a ton of labels. It's a load. It's like a whole load of them, though. That's a ton of labels. So, uh, Mun Munbian, um, when you send me the printer, I'll continue this review. <laughs> But Steph's wanted me to draw some twins called Boron and Borax, <laughs> and they're like little, little cursed babies. The fetuses that are unborn. They're unborn fetuses that are that have been abducted by aliens. Have they warped it out of their mother? <laughs> what, what, is, what is this? The voices. Boron, I am Boron. <laughs> it seems to be a hit with you guys. I'm seeing a lot of yeses. But, <laughs> Sparkle says, this is what angels look like. Maggie's saying, yes, 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 yes. We need something. <laughs> we need something. We need a comic about Boron and Boron. No, we don't. <laughs> we do not. I need it personally. I will read it. <laughs> well, thanks, honey. I'll read it more than once to make it worth your while. <laughs> I will be your entire viewership of the comic. <laughs> Whoa. Right, the first thing that, like, totally stood out to me is this. 300 DPI, which is like, in case you guys don't know, that's like print quality stuff. So when you buy posters or prints of, like, artists that you enjoy, uh, it tends to be 300 DPI or higher. And it's quite, as you can see, it's quite a big boy. This is definitely yeah, I was just bigger. Yeah, that's so much bigger than the other little yeah unless it's just all box but um it could be all box that's true now we've got it let's uh, let's get it open hello also we should say that this because of uk laws i have to state that this is gifted it's definitely gifted because it's gifted because it's free uh we have to say that and i don't know if you guys in america and other places have to say that but whenever a company sends you something here you have to say that you've been sent it gifted Ooh, what's it? Bluetooth connection from a... Oh, okay, that's fine. It looks like, yeah, you've got to download, like, an app or something like that, which totally makes sense, because you have to do that with a phone memo one. Oh, it comes with power, which totally makes sense for something like this, actually. Please use a 24-volt... That's fine. That's okay. So that's a power adapter. There he is! Bye-bye! It's come with some more paper as well, but luckily we've been sent like a ton over here. Okay, it's come with the standard, as you would expect, cables, which is fine. But here it is. Here is the little Munbin little baby. Is it pink? I think it's pink. Yeah, it's kind of like a pinky color. Is it pink? That's adorable. Like a light red, maybe? Now, as you can see, it's still a big, chunky boy. It's definitely bigger than the faux memo printer. And as you can probably see from the back... This is like a little printing sample. Look how much bigger the things you can print are. That's like, that's crazy big. Whereas the FOMOMO one was, I won't pull that out just in case. The FOMOMO one did like receipt sized ones. Th this is, that's crazy big. This is like the, the politest paper I've ever seen. It says, let this side face down, please. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> so polite, Munbin. Oh my God. All right, I've just downloaded the app. I'm gonna set it all up and see how this bad boy does. Okay, so some pluses and minuses that I've already found about this bad boy is you have to plug it in and it comes with a brick, but the prints are bigger, which I really like actually. I'm gonna give that a try in just a second. It also comes with a desktop app or program, I should say. Let me, uh, here we go. You can install a driver on the computer for it. So I 
think you might actually be able to work on artwork on your computer and print directly through a program on your computer, which actually is amazing. But what I'm gonna be doing is using it via uh, Bluetooth because that's what we did with the Foam Memo one And I'm curious just to see how that handles the same sort of process. And that shows you how to load it. It has a little button at the top here. See, so it's open. Just press it down and it pops open like that. And that's where the print paper will feed through. That's where the thermal print and the rollers are. Because if you don't know, thermal printing, as the name suggests, it doesn't use any ink. So you never have to actually put ink cartridges in it. It just uses heat to transfer the design on, which means at some point it'll probably fade, you know, like a receipt would, but you never have to pay for uh, ink, which is amazing because ink is so expensive. Okay, I've switched it on. We've got it loaded and the paper, which also is quite impressive, comes in a ream that's uh, perforated, which is super useful. Oh, we're connected. Now, I'm just looking at some of the uh, default ones. As you can see, there are some round ones here and we did get sent some round stickers. I kind of want to try our own design, you know, so let's see how that goes. Okay, now I just realized this is the design I'm going for. This is my my new OC's uh, Borax and Boron. Um, <laughs> if you weren't in the stream that we did this week, you probably don't know who they are, but they were very, very popular with the people that came to the stream. Uh, I'm going to try, as you can see, to print this. Uh, and just to see how it looks, because this was, believe it or not, this masterpiece was drawn in 300 DPI, so it should come out fairly sharp. Uh, let's preview it. These just look like default settings. I honestly don't know what these are without reading the manual, so we'll just go default and see how this looks. So let's go to print. Oh, it's alive! There they are! Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, that's... <laughs> right, so that was my mistake. I actually loaded the printer backwards. <laughs> so let's try it again now, okay? I'm gonna go print again. Let's go! <laughs> there they are. There's my boys. That's my boys. And again, because it's perforated, you can just pull it off. But again, I'm trying to get as close as I can. It's that guy's face, it's just two slits. <laughs> what? No, he has a strong jaw and a strong brow. He's gonna grow up to be very handsome one day. That's awesome. Now that was just a quick drawing. So what I am very tempted to do now is jump onto my Twitter, find something that I've drawn and uh, give that a print because thermal printers, if you don't know, only print in black and white. Now, some can print in other colors depending on the papers that you get, but I'm pretty sure this one with the papers that we have got will only do black and white. So, you know that sticker? I want to put it in. <laughs> Steph really wants this. So, <laughs> hold on. Guys. Or hold the phone, guys. I've just discovered image mode and I found the perfect muse to try it. Look at him. He's a baby. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> it looks just like him! There we go. Can you see like how it's uh, dotted and made all the different tones? Oh, look at those chops! Let's go shopping! What are you doing? I found something called squish meat. And I kind of feel like I need to get one to squish. 30, did that say 36 to collect? We are we, not collecting. We have many to collect. 36 of oh, them. That one's got an elephant in it. I like the elephant. Oh, God, Oh, they are cute. Dennis. <laughs> you can get one. <gasps> Funny. I need help. Dennis might be calling me. Put him in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't squeeze it, because it squeaks. Don't. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> oh, I remember what these are. Yeah, I had a look around the shop. They only had, like, this one uh, lemon one for the left. <laughs> I love that you've got the bread behind you. <laughs> She's set up for the day now. 
But yeah, they only had these ones and the vanilla ones. The ones that you had last time, the raspberry, they were sold out, but Steph said those were really good. Oh, and you need to show the squish me's. Have you guys seen these before? They're called squish me's. And the lady that served us at the counter says that apparently these are super popular at the minute. Can you see you? You just give them a good it's squeeze. Just, just constantly kids walking around the store. Yeah, the doing, doing this, it says it's driving her nuts. And Adam was like, yeah, that's what Steph's gonna do. That's what you do, <laughs> that is you. Listen, don't out me, you can pretend we have like a niece or something that we're buying. <laughs> oh no, this is for our niece, yeah. This one has been very busy. Check out all of this. This is the prompt sticker book. And you might have seen in previous vlogs where um, I've gone to a page and it doesn't have anything. Well, someone's been remedying that show. <laughs> we say and she's been putting <laughs> she's been putting a sticker of some description on every single pet i mean look at it all she's been so busy oh there's some really good props in here <laughs> can't show you what i'm sticking on oh no no i won't spoil it no but like i say look at all of these she has been a very busy lady oh my word oh geez again it's what wishmallow night Okay, what is in? I have to admit the box is different, which is a good sign. It's actually Halloween today. Yeah, today is Halloween. And if you don't know, one of Steph's Halloween traditions is to get chips. <laughs> so that's why she's getting one of these. Roti is always up for a movie night. Oh, so it is a different one. I don't recognize... Roti. He might be the weakest one so far. <laughs> hey! No, I'm joking. He's cute. I like him. He's a nice boy. I said, squeeze his face. Morning art friends. We've been sent a mystery package that has my name on it and I'm not really expecting anything So uh, I figured we could open it together and have a look what's inside it. Oh It turns out it's from Artex and there's two packs simp simp tap Acrylic marker. So there's obviously one for Steph and one for me, which is really sweet. So yeah, this has been sent to us from the company. Not sure why companies are sending us things all of a sudden, but I'm living for it to be honest. I love free things. As you can see, it says they're waterproof. They have a brush tip. They're strong coverage and they're bright. Available on. See, that's the interesting one. Available on various surfaces. So these are kind of like. Uh, Going after Posca like, in a way. Yeah, paint pens. We've had some Artex paint pens we've used before. And we have, yeah. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll just open one. We'll have a quick little look and uh, see what they're all about. Oh, Steph and I immediately said that they're a lot chunkier than what we were expecting. They actually look quite thick. Now, it doesn't appear as though... Let's grab one of these bad boys. Ooh. It doesn't have a colour name on it. They're using codes, which is fine. You know, a lot of brands do, but you know me being the colorblind boy, uh, I like to have colors. It says shake well, press the top of the marker. Ah, so the pump for these oh, cool. is at the top. So you go like... Uh, so you don't have to like, like, manually shake it. And you don't risk damaging the tip either by pressing down so much. So that's actually a really big plus. So here it is. Oh, look at that fresh out of the box. So there's no pigment on this thing at all. That's always your favorite part with paint pens. Yeah, I love watching the uh, the pigment come through. I wonder if I can like grab it and like put it there. Yeah, put it there for you. Right, I'm going to start pumping this like that. Can you see that? It's very, very slight. Gravity. Oh, it's all yeah, kicking yeah, off on the other side. <laughs> oh my God. What about this side though? doing it look look it's doing it and again i really like that the tip will stay i mean look how pristine that tip is that tip will never come into contact with uh the paper being jammed into it to pump it so i think that's a, already that's amazing i think that's great all right i'd say that's pretty even look at that pretty evenly uh, applied now so can we uh should we give it a test what should we draw steph likes to do swatches but you know i'm not about that should we draw should we draw a little guinea pig you know if 
if you're looking for something to draw, you've got a whole sketchbook full of prompts. I'm not using these for the... Oh my god, no. <laughs> I might do a prompt today. You better do it. I've got so many for you. Oh, I love the The brush tip. What can I compare that to? It kind of feels like a Copic marker, but... I would say the tip is not as stiff. I think Steph will really like these. The tip kind of has the same vibe of art supplies that she oh, really like likes. That yeah, yeah. That's really cute. There he is at his food bowl because we fed him not long this morning. Again, look at that. There's no like streaks. There's no like, you know, where it feathers. It doesn't feather. There isn't any, uh, it doesn't lose any of the pigment as you go along. I mean, look at that. You know, like sometimes if you go really quickly, You'll get like uh, patches of the paper showing through, getting none of that. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Can you see? Along, that's what I'm looking for. But uh, that's wonderful. Uh, I haven't even been like rotating the pen, and there's so much pigment on it. That's actually really, really cool. Still not sure about the name though. Simp tap. <laughs> You know, honey, it's been a while. Oh, yes. As you might have noticed, it's even thicker because this is Prompt 2.0 where Steph has filled every empty page, believe it or not. Yeah, so no complaining that you don't have prompts on every page. It's okay. So I should be guaranteed a prompt regardless of what page I flick. So let's put that to the test right now. Okay. Oh, there's a baby! Well, that's Creston that we used with the printer that we shown this week, but... It says here, bread mom. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like that. <laughs> but this is the prompt. This is what we have to do. Draw along at home if you're feeling inspired. Are there any bread moms in the audience today? The first thing that comes to mind is a French stick mother. <laughs> and uh, she's in the hospital because she's just given birth to one of her bread babies. <laughs> Babies. You know, like when they hand you the baby and it's all like wrapped up in blankets and stuff like that. It smells like a warm loaf of bread. Yeah, <laughs> it's come straight out the oven, so to speak. <laughs> fresh, fresh from the oven, this one. Oh my god. Were you expecting bread mom to be a prompt? Uh, honestly, the only thing I expect from these prompts these days is just to be scared because I don't know what's gonna come out. Oh my god, there's some really good prompts in there. Oh, is this not a good one? It's okay, it's good. But there's one in particular that I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait until we get to that one. Re oh no, really? Well, now I know we've got guaranteed prompts for every single one, guys. Yeah, we you need we to get could. Back yeah, we could like every week do at least one. In this universe, like bread products and stuff, baker baked goods have discovered like medical science and uh, they have like been studying it. I guess you'd be in like a scrubs, right? You know, like those like gown things that they wear, and the oh my god, and the dad can just be like a burger bun, so he's really a small. <laughs> but you can at least do like a loaf of bread or like a, a slice of bread. These are breads. How dare you? Okay. Not not every <laughs> it's not discrimination. Yeah, not every bread is like a loaf of bread, honey. <gasps> He maybe is shocked. He's like, wait a minute, that doesn't look like me. I knew you were hanging out in that bakery, not just to talk with your lady friends. <laughs> oh no, who's the daddy? Oh, but she's so happy. She has some like little happy tears. Oh, I'm so happy with my little baby. And he's like, no, he's like, no, that's not yours. Well, it's not mine, it's definitely <laughs> yours. Okay, I can't argue that. I did see it come out of you. So it's definitely yours, <laughs> but it might not be mine. So those are two separate stickers that I've put together. Yeah, Creston and Bread Mom. Yeah. Well, no, I mean Bread and Mom. Oh, oh, and I thought it was a single one. And I think the mom was actually supposed to be Wow the other way around, but I got creative. <gasps> oh my god, it is! <gasps> <gasps> I didn't even... Oh my god, that's like a double... a double... <laughs> a double cross. Like, oh my god, I didn't even realise. And there we have one completed Bread Mom. What would you guys do? For bread mom as a prompt, maybe a maybe a mother that bakes. That might have been a bit less cursed than this. Now that I think about it, but at least it's next to something really cute. Oh, it's a barber. <laughs>